Hello viewers, this is Ashwar of you once again. Welcome to this new video where I'm going to show you how I do plagiarism checkups for all the articles which I received from my article writers and then how I remove all the grammatical errors from the article and how I make it more reader friendly and more enjoyable content for my readers. So let me just show you this is the article which I have received from my writer and now the first thing that I do before I publish this article into my website I check the plagiarism. So let me show you how I do this I simply copy the whole content from the word document and then I visit a website which is small seotools.com slash plagiarism checker and i'm going to attach the website links into the video description which i use all right so that you'll be able to access them easily so after visiting the website i just go a little bit down and then here we have got the field where we have to enter the content and here one thing i should mention this website has a limit of 1000 words per search to check up for grammatical or say, let's say for the plagiarism checkup all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove some parts from the bottom of this article and let's see now we have got 990 words and we are fine to do the research now so let me click on check plagiarism and now it is just it has just started checking up as you can see and let's see if we got anything plagiarized here okay so two percent four percent of the article has some plagiarism or plagiarized content so let me find out on which parts we have got the copy pasting per, uh, contents so here this one leave the mask on your hair for one hour so this is i think a part of a remedy so that's fine to keep but let's see on with which website it is matching up so let's click on compare and after that let's go a little bit down and we are seeing another matchup here use this remedy twice or thrice a week for the best results so this one is also a part of the remedy uh, remedy um, appli application process so that's fine to keep but let me show you the matchup on the document so i'm going to copy this part copy and hit ctrl plus f on your word document and after that ctrl v to paste the fields that you want to check out so let me click on find next and we are going to see this is the part which is actually matching up with the other websites which we are seeing here all right so what you can do we can make some adjustment here or you can do some edit uh, modification leave the mask on your hair for one hour so what i'm going to do i'm going to modify it with the name as you can see banana hair mask so I'm going to put leave the banana hair mask on your hair for one hour or banana mask uh, on your hair for one hour. And now if we just do another checkup, we are going to see that there is no plagiarism anymore. So let me just go back here and let's do the same for the other one. I'm going to paste it here. Paste and find next oops here this one use this remedy twice or twice a week for the best results use this let me see the remedy name aloe vera hair mask remedy so use this aloe vera hair mask remedy twice or twice a week for the best results so that's fine now if i just copy the full whole content again and if i visit the website again and let me put the contents here on the field and now let me remove the bottom parts from here and 995 all right and let's click on check plagiarism it is going to show me the current results it is just checking it up okay so just take a look 100 percent unique article we have got as of now so now the next thing what i do i copy paste all this information from here and let me actually paste it here and then what i do i just copy paste all the things from here and then i visit another website which is grammarly you can add extension onto your uh, into your browser so whenever you are just visiting any of the places and it, it found or actually writing anything 
on websites or let's say on a word document whenever it will find any mistake or errors it is going to show you by um, by uh, providing you the alternative accurate word here so as you can see here from instead of off you should use for so it is going to look much better all right and it will be uh, grammarly or actually grammatical error free so let me show you how it is going to work for us i'm going to grammarly here i'm going to attach the link of this tool again into the video description for you as well so just take it check it out from there so let me click on upload and after that i'm going to copy paste the whole content i'm going to paste it here and you can set the goals from here like what types of audience you have got so i'm going to put like knowledgeable or actually you can select general and after that we are going to see, select the uh, formality for like if you are writing it for informal neutral or formal uh, audience based people or you, you are going to see the domain selection as well so you can actually go for the selections all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on the knowledgeable and after that i'm going to click on done and here we are going to see the ratings soon so here the current overall score is 71 percent and it's a good rating so what i'm going to do i'm going to make the changes here which it is going to show us so, so as you can see here corrections it is suggesting us 20 corrections so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this correction button and after that we are going to see all the places where we should make the change so that our our content will look more uh, reader friendly and it will get the grammatical error free writings all right so what uh, here but before moving on to the remedies first know some reasons for our so here it is written off but we can actually use for for a better version so first know some remedy, remedies for our dry and frizzy here so we have made the change and again reasons off let me give a space here reasons actually it is going to be for so i'm going to place it here and then another space i'm going to seeing i'm seeing here staying in hot sun so it should be the hot sun and here reasons off so it should be for and after that give a space like humans da should be here in the front so it is showing as the error and after that burns it should be burned and we are going to see all the errors it is going to show us in a kind of a red sign as you can see eight glass but it should be eight glasses this is a grammatical issue so we have to change it here and after that every day we are saying every day is the correct form but i'd love to keep it as it is here all right for the better actually uh, experience and then i'm going to a proper okay so we can actually put a proper here instead of just proper and after that one day we can put a hyphen here and just take a look it is showing us flax seeds are rich source of omega-3 fatty acid but it should be rich sources so i'm going to make it here flat seeds are a rich sources oh it should be we should be uh, putting here rich sources all right so now it's fine and then help removing it should be to remove help to remove dandruff from your hair it is just matching up with the tone which has been written uh, here in this sentence all right and after that you have got the remedy here and then do all the formatting or actually spacings and go a little bit down here it should be a mild shampoo a mild okay so it just correcting us actually showing us the points where we we have to make the changes it should be a comma before and so it will look nicer and this is how i actually increase the rate of actually here as you can see in this here mask it wasn't containing the comma but it should be a comma here it should be a comma so i'm going to place the comma and it should be separately okay and another comma so this is how you it will show us all the errors or potential errors and then we have to make the changes or make the or actually use the better version of the word selection or of, of the formatting selection of the article all right so from like 71 we have got 82 percent of overall score i'm actually going to make few more change here on this article to make it more score based article so that it will help me get a good uh, experience 
uh, for my viewers and it will get some shares as well i believe and it will be an error free article for my viewers so that's the process guys so i have used both of the tools these are free completely free all right so there you will find a premium version on grammarly as well if you just believe that this this tool is going to be helping you out for a few more from their uh, premium features then you can actually go for the premium feature as well but i'm i'm happy with their free version so you can use it as it is all right so i believe i was able to help you by sharing these two tools and the process how these tools works so you'll be able to make your articles more reader friendly more uh, error free all right so i believe i was able to help you and if you have found this video helpful please give this video a like and share this video to help your friends and please let me know if you have got any questions by commenting below and i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching